My name is Paige. I grew up with a mom and a dad, very typical childhood. In high school, I found a group of people that I thought was cool, and they liked to do drugs and to drink, so I started getting into that scene. I was in and out of rehabs for a couple years, on and off of maintenance drugs for a couple of years, couldn't hold down a job, didn't even think about going back to school. That wasn't even a thought. And it was just a really hard life. It was a hard life. At the age of 12, I found out I was pregnant with my son. I wasn't really sure where to start, wasn't sure what life was gonna be like and how drastically my life would change. Was blessed to have wonderful family support. Uh, my mother, my father, stepfather, you know, they couldn't go to school with me. They couldn't be there every second of my day. I was 24 at the last treatment center I went to. I found out I was pregnant with Xander, which was scary. You know, I had like, I don't know, three months clean or something in a halfway house and found out I'm pregnant. They asked me at the hospital if I would be interested in like at home services and somebody would come out and give me advice on how to raise Xander. I was super scared. So I was like, yes, please sign me up for these services, right? I have no idea what I'm doing. I think Erica met Xander when he was only a couple weeks old. She was a new mom with a new baby. Um, you know, babies don't come with instruction manuals, so everything was new for her. She helped me navigate the world of parenting. We had 101 home visits, so she was very consistent. Um, she never missed a visit. When my son was about five months, I was able to enroll him at the child care center at Simon Kenton High School. And that was the point that I was coupled with Tina. She would go to her middle school, take her classes, and then she would come back and spend an hour in the afternoon with me. And we would work on parenting skills. And we just had that bond. We had that relationship where I could count on her and she could count on me. So I told Erica that like, you know, all these dreams I had, like that I wanted to go to school and I wanted to move out of my parents' basement. So she also like not only helped me with Xander, but she helped me personally. She helped me like go through the paperwork to get this apartment. When I applied for college, I didn't necessarily know how I was gonna pay for books. And she told me that Children's Inc. actually has a scholarship and I could get books through it. So Children Inc. paid for my books for like three years of college. I'm very proud of her. I know she will finish school and she will go on and be successful and continue to be a good mom to her son. Now I'm gonna be graduating in May and I'm applying to graduate school at Northern Kentucky University for clinical mental health counseling. And I have three and a half years clean, so that's also pretty cool. When my senior year hit alone, I would say that that was kind of the moment that I realized I was making it. I had never had a five or six year plan in place for how to get someone from being a young mother to graduation. She was able to be extremely successful and graduate at the top of her class when the odds were against her. It wasn't just that, you know, statistically, they didn't think she could do it. It had never been done before. I was able to go to UC, finish my undergraduate degree. As soon as I finished that, I went on to get my master's degree, also from the University of Cincinnati in speech pathology. And so I'm now a speech and language pathologist for Cincinnati Public Schools. If Children Inc. hadn't come into my life, I don't know, I'm just not sure if I would have had the confidence that I have in parenting and the confidence to go on and achieve these bigger goals that I have. So Xander and I have a bright future ahead of us and we owe it to Children Inc. I am very proud to be able to be a part of this agency and all of the, the families that we've been able to reach and touch. And when I think about those first babies that I went to see that are now 19, and some of them I see on Facebook and just knowing that the parents remember, you know, you were the one that brought my kid books and um, 
seeing kids that are graduating, it does make me emotional thinking about all of those families that have welcomed me into their home. We still get messages years later that, hey, my kid is on the honor roll and, or, you know, my kid just graduated from kindergarten. So that's a good feeling. This is my son, Samuel. He is, just celebrated his 15th birthday last week and he's a freshman at Purcell Marion High School, doing wonderful, all A's and B's, advanced classes. People always ask me what kind of celebrity is my inspiration, but I always say it's my mom because of what she had to do at my age, I don't think I could have ever done. So my mom is the greatest inspiration I think could ever live. I can honestly say that without having the daycare and without Tina, um, and of course along with my family support, I would not be sitting where I am today. She's absolutely one of my favorite people because she was my mother away from my mother. To see her succeed after everything she had done and been through, I just, I couldn't be more proud. She's the daughter I never had.